Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this particular question. I suggest everyone to pause this video and solve this question by yourself and then come back to the explanation video. Okay. So let's start solving this question. Let's read it carefully. An entrance exam for JBIMS, a well-known MBA college in India, comprises a total 200 difficult questions. Cut-off set by college is 40 marks for group discussion and personal interview round. After result, it was found that no one scored more than 40 marks. Okay, no one scored more than 40 marks. No two students among those who qualified answered same number of questions correctly. Okay, so from this what we come to know. The cutoff set is 40 marks. No one scored more than 40 marks. Okay, but there are some students who qualified. So what does it mean? There are some students who got exactly 40 marks okay there are few students who got exactly 40 marks and out of those few students no two students answered same number of questions correctly okay means if there are x students who got exactly 40 marks out of those x students everyone answered different number of questions correctly find the maximum number of students who qualified given that Every question answered correctly awarded one mark each. Answered wrongly attracts a penalty of one fourth mark and the no marks are awarded or deducted for the questions which are not attempted. Okay, everyone. So let's start doing this. So over here, for correct answer, okay. For correct answer, plus one marks are awarded. For wrong answer, minus 1 by 4 marks are awarded okay and for the question which is unattempted for the question which is unattempted 0 marks are awarded okay everyone so let's consider total x questions total x questions are answered correctly after that total y questions answered wrongly and the remaining questions are how many total number of questions are 200 out of that minus x minus y we need to do okay the remaining questions are unattempted okay so now the total score how we are going to calculate total score 1 into x minus 1 by 4 into y plus 0 into 200 minus x minus y for correctly answered questions plus 1 for wrongly answered questions minus 1 by 4 and for unattempted questions 0 mark and this total it's supposed to be how much total it's supposed to be 40 marks because our question is what find our question is find maximum number of students who qualified and there is no student who got more than 40 marks okay the students who got exactly 40 marks are the students who qualified the exam okay everyone so let's solve this question let's solve this equation okay so this is going to be x minus 1 by 4 y is equal to 40 multiply both sides by 4 so you will get 4x minus y is equal to 160 okay so from this what we come to know we need to find what Every question, every student who qualified answered different number of questions correctly. Okay. The number of questions answered correctly are x. Okay. So how many different values x can take? The question is how many different values x can take? So over here, 4x is equal to how much? 160 plus y. Okay. So x is equal to how much? 160 divided by 4 is 40 plus y by 4. Okay, everyone. So from this, I can see that the value of x has to be greater than or equal to 40. Okay. X is equal to how much? 40 plus something. Okay. So, so the value of x is going to be how much? Greater than or equal to 40. It can be equal to 40 also. If I keep y is equal to 0, if a student answered only 40 questions and all of them are correct, then student will get 40 marks. So it is very much possible that y is equal to 0 so that x is equal to 40. So from this, we can conclude that x has to be greater than or equal to 40. Okay. After this, what else we can conclude? Look here. The number of questions answered correctly are x. The number of questions answered incorrectly are y. 
this addition it's supposed to be less than or equal to 200 because total number of total number of questions are 200 okay we need to find the range for x so we need to replace the value of y okay so from this equation i can replace y with which term i can replace y with 4x minus 160 less than or equal to 200 so let's solve it further this is going to be 5x is less than or equal to 360 so x is less than or equal to how much 72 okay so let's combine these two conditions okay let's combine these two conditions how many different values x can take okay x can take any value starting from 40 to 72 both are inclusive okay so how many values x can take 72 minus 40 both are inclusive so plus 1 that is equal to how much 33 different values x can take okay every student who qualified answered different number of questions correctly so for every student the value of x is going to be different so how many different values x can take 33 different values x can take so that is why the maximum number of students who qualified for the given exam is going to be 33 so our answer is 33 students are the maximum number of students who can qualify for this given exam under given conditions okay everyone